Just tell me now, I'll go jump onto the tracks. No, Raj! Raj! Raj, please don't. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? You want to hear it? You want to hear it? Hear this! Hear this! No! Raj! Raj, no! What you saw earlier was almost a daily affair for Vasanti. The man who was threatening to kill himself was Vasanti's first husband, Raj. What he did was a form of psychological violence used to control victims and Vasanti is one of them. I'm 42 this year, mother of three kids, um, married twice, currently with my second marriage. Okay, as for my teenage years, a uh, scar which will never be erased from my memory was uh, sexual abuse from my stepdad, which actually led me to where I am now today. Mainly a uh, broken family, especially my mom and dad. You know, they were going through a divorce, a lot of violence in the family. And then later, uh, my mom had another marriage with my stepdad. Very bitter memories which are still affecting me. Hey Vasanti, come sit here. Watch this. This is what life is all about. Come. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> he used to like uh, watch porn in front of me. <laughs> when I don't even know that there is such a thing. He used to masturbate in front of me and uh, I had no courage to tell my mom all this because she's never going to believe me. I never had good relationship with my mom. So uh, no point in me telling her also. When I was uh, about more than 16, 16 or 17, somewhere around there, he forcefully asked me to be uh, uh, active with him physically. So, and that one, he threatened me that if I were to tell my mom, he will um, harm her. So for that, I didn't tell anything to her at all. But all the nights I was, I used to tie my legs together when I'm sleeping. There used to be people watching me when I'm bathing. In olden days, right, we didn't have the courage to leave home and be on our own. So. I waited for a day to get married, to go out of the family, out of this suffering. As for my first marriage, it's an escape from a lion's den and going into the tiger's den. You really don't care about me anymore, do you? Even if I kill myself, it's not going to make any difference to you now, is it? Don't you dare if I didn't kill yourself again, Raj. I will not fall into your trap. Fine, I don't kill myself, I kill her! I hated myself for always being the one to comply, comply all the way. I need her! Please give her back to me! I am going to... Sorry, please, Raj, give her back to me! I'm begging you! I'm begging you! Please, Raj, please give her back to me! He was not the man who approached me, who was so sweet. It's not that... It's not the same person. According to Vasanti, the problems in her marriage stem from her relationship with her mother-in-law. They did not see eye to eye when it came to money. So, I had to work and give them all my pay. She gave me hell. There wouldn't be food for me to come back to. They will only give me a $5 allowance every day. I was very angry with my husband. Why can't you stand up for your, for your own rights? All he can say is they just listen to my mom. The bullying inflicted on Vasanti did not stop. It escalated to something that never could she ever imagine. Darling, have you eaten? I got you supper. So you care about me now, huh? What are you talking about? I always care about you. You know, why do you take this filthy food of yours to your lover outside? I bet he likes leftovers, especially my leftovers. I was in a state of shock. I could not you know, fight back. All I could do was to scream and cry. Bitch, come here. Come here. 
Rush, rush, no, please. Rush, rush, rush! Rush, no, please, rush! Please, please. Rush, please leave me alone. Rush. After all that had happened, he forcefully made love for me. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm and really very sorry. Try I'm to so cover sorry. up just like that. I didn't mean to, you know, you know I love you. I, I These three phases become a cycle of violence and is normally seen in abusive relationships. All this while, Raj was always going against the law to make more money. What saved Vasanti from further abuse was when he was jailed. When she filed for divorce, she lost the house. Her children had to stay with their grandmother as their schools were far from the rental flats. Vasanti lived alone as her mother considered her nightclub job inappropriate for the children's well-being. There are times where I can't see them very often and pained a lot. But I told myself I must not let go. I must not let my children down. I must not leave them as how the father left us. I had to overwork myself to support the three of them. Singing was my passion from the age of 11, but I was not allowed to do it. When I was singing, it's like happiness for myself. If not for music, I think I would have gone into depression. Okay, my second husband, we, I met in the club. There was a lot of problems at work. The boss was giving me quite a hell. What's your problem? They are paying for their drinks, you know. One more time, you are fired. A care from a man, that's when I started loving truly a person who was there for me. Knowing all these uh, things I was going through, right? he offered me, why not I take care of you for the rest of your life, rather than you having this kind of sufferings alone. I had three kids, so having a second marriage was quite unlikely because not all guys were willing to accept kids from the first marriage. It wasn't long before Vasanti's fairy tale ending turned into a nightmare. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Huh? You stop trying to control my life! Where are you going? Coming now! <laughs> He stopped trying to control my life! As her current husband had to socialise for his job, he began drinking heavily, which led to an outburst of violence. Their own insecurities and age difference of 13 years also contributed to the problem. When he was abusing me so many times, I thought of leaving him. I didn't want to because being unmarried with three kids was very tough. I didn't want to go into that again. Slowly, I talked some sense into him and uh, he stopped the abuse. The troubles of abuse has ended. I hope so, it's ended. But the fear is always there. I have to comply for the sake of the children.
used to write songs when I'm down. So this is one song which I like to dedicate to all troubled hearts. In Padi, Mur Padi, Yad Gude, Nan Pube. Yen varvin gee 